welcome to my channel this is my third video in the first year mbbs guidance series well now there is almost the end of your vacations or holidays that were in between your neat exam result and allotment of the colleges till the opening of the college so now there is the excitement of the first year of college and this year due to the delay by covid pandemic situation the foundation course of one month have been cancelled and it has been scheduled to be taken in first four five months along with your academic start so here comes the question of how to approach these new med subjects or how to start studying the subject and how to efficiently complete them in order to prepare for university exam as well as build up the concepts useful for clinical application later on. So in this and upcoming videos, we are going to see how we can study the subjects efficiently and what to start with. Now as you all know, there are three subjects in your first year, Anatomy, Physiology and Biochemistry. The first thing that you need to do is to buy books. I have put up videos on which books to buy to study for anatomy, physiology and biochemistry. The links are provided in the description. Now we shall see how to study them. We will focus on these subjects one by one. Let's see physiology in this video. This is the subject that most of the people find interesting than other two. The standard book for physiology is Guyton. In Guyton, the first three units that is general physiology, nerve muscle physiology and the blood are general topics. The core physiology starts from the unit CVS and then continue till the CNS. The general physiology is just your 11th standard human physiology plus some facts and concepts whereas the core physiology gives you a complete different dimension and shows you the beauty of the subject. The concept for the base of medicine is given wonderfully in Guyton. Now what is your first impression on seeing Guyton from outside? Bulky? Huge? And one question in mind is how can we read this book completely in one year? But trust me, you can do it. First, before seeing how you have to study the subject effectively for the whole academic year, let's see what you can start with. Now you have roughly 10 days before your college starts. So then, directly start doing CVS unit. Cardiac muscle, cardiac impulse, cardiac cycle, cardiac output and regulation of blood pressure. This will show you the wonders of the subject. Don't rush into memorizing the things or facts. Just try to build up concepts. Just try to understand how the things are given in Guyton. Then when your college starts, do the topics taught in college simultaneously. Before opening of college, put in 40% effort in physiology, 40% in biochem and 20% in anatomy. Now, initially just when the college start, you have that high energy to read the Guyton and you start in that energy complete reading general topics from Guyton simultaneously with your college. But then your term 1 exam starts coming to the corner and you start worrying that how can I write answer just by reading Guyton and you start lifting your attention to other books that is AK Jain or GK Pal or the notes that you have prepared or any other books or the notes that you get from the college. And after the term 1 exam, you put attention in these books only, leaving your standard book aside. This is what you should avoid because just after the term 1, you start with your core physiology and the concept should be perfect and based on standard textbooks. So how to study the standard textbooks so that you can rely on them even from your ex university exam point of view. So here's how you can read Guyton, clear your concept and score well in university exam as well as prepare for PG entrance exam. Let's say a topic was taught to you in your college today. Then after college, you read the same topic from Guyton. While reading, do not skip any table or graphs or diagrams. The key to make the chapters revisable in short time during exams revision is by condensing the text in the diagrams given in the chapter. Let's take the example of blood coagulation chapter. 
the diagrams given in the chapter are of extrinsic and intrinsic pathways consisting of 60 to 70 percent of the theory given below and then the extra points which are given should be added in this diagram so that when you revise you skip two long pages theory given down and just go to the diagrams the best way to study the standard books is to make use of the contents that is graphs or diagrams given in the book apart from the long theory another point in Guyton, before most paragraphs, there is a line summarizing the whole paragraph. The heading of the paragraph is the actual main point of the whole paragraph. Let's take an example. Now here, as you can see, this is a long paragraph, but the line given in bold letters above is Sodium and potassium pump is important for controlling cell volume. This line is the summary of the whole paragraph given below. So when you read the Guyton for the first time, you need to understand what content is important and how can I make theory revisable in less time. So in this case, when reading for the second time, I read just that line because I know the concept given in this long paragraph that I've read earlier. Now come to the point of making notes. This is the part where you need to be very careful. You need to make sure that you're not making a mini guidance but notes which are very concise and sufficient to revise. To make the notes as shortest as possible, avoid making notes in the first reading of your guidance. So how can you make notes? Your first rough notes will be prepared when you attend your college lectures. The college teachers will tell you the important topics from exam point of view. Then you go home and read the topic from the guidance completely once. Now you can solve some MCQs from your review books. Then read your guidance again and now add the points which are extra unmentioned into your notes. Add the extra MCQs into that too. Now the theory given in your standard books generally is 20% literature, 30% concept building story and 50% is your actual content. Your notes should have 30% concept and 50% actual content. While making notes, do not write it in paragraph or do not make it much colorful too. Do color coding that is set standard color codes and then make notes as points and flowcharts and refer to the diagram given in the chapter in Guyton. Next point. To score well in exam is to know the important topics from the exam point of view and also from the applied or clinical point of view. This is important to prioritize the content and to decide the amount of time you need to spend on the particular topic. Next, do not read too many books, stick to your standard textbook and with time it will give you amazing results. Guidance is for building your concept as well as for your PG entrance exam preparation. Then, before going for your physiology practicals, read the theory from Guyton regarding the same. This will help you in trying to apply the theory in your practical as well as this will make you remember the concept more thoroughly. Now we are coming to the very basic question that students have after reading Guyton that how can we write the answers from Guyton? And for this reason, many students start referring other books. But if you noticed closely, these reference books have the same language of the Guyton and of course the same content just in concise, tabulated and pointwise manner. So the notes that you make from Guyton can also serve your purpose. Even after reading Guyton for two times or even after reading your notes, there are still some facts or concepts that you tend to forget. So the best way to remember these things is jotting them down on a sticky note and putting the note just at the end of the chapter so that when you do the revision, you should just read these points in your note and your notes and this will be enough for you. Another point is try reading physiology and anatomy simultaneously. This will help you to integrate the subjects and understand both subjects better. 
for example, reading GI physiology and abdominal anatomy together, or reading neuroanatomy and CNS physiology together. And the last point is, try solving MCQs from review book Crisp Physiology by Dr. Krishna Kumar. This book integrates your physiology, pathology, medicine, everything. So some of the questions may not be answerable at your level, but solving them will be fun. So keeping these 10 points in mind and following them will surely give you amazing results. Subscribe my channel for upcoming videos to see how to study anatomy and biochemistry effectively. Please like and share this video. Thank you.